We've seen the construction of the world's tallest skyscrapers over the past few decades. They have become taller, sleeker, and more impressive with each new addition. But there's one last mega-tall skyscraper that was completed recently. If you thought the Burj Khalifa was impressive, wait until you see Malaysia's Merdeka PNB 118. It's the second tallest skyscraper in the world built to an impressive height of 679 meters. In this video, we're going to take a look at Malaysia's Merdeka PNB 118 and some of its incredible features. So if you're interested in learning more about this incredible feat of engineering, keep watching. At the Burj Khalifa, Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture, Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia was slated to be the world's second tallest structure. However, work on the project was suspended because of labor disputes. The title was shifted to Merdeka PNB 118 at the end of 2021 when the building was completed. The 118-story Merdeka PNB 118 skyscraper is standing tall in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The tower's full name is Merdeka PNB 118, also known as Merdeka 118. The name Merdeka, which translates into Independence Day in Bahasa Melayu, honors Malaysia's independence. PNB stands for Permodolan Nasional Berhad, the largest investment management business in Malaysia and proprietor of the skyscraper. Moreover, this building was named KL-118 because it was constructed in Kuala Lumpur and it has 118 floors. Other names that have been used in the past for the structure include Menara Warisan Merdeka, English for Heritage of Independence, and PNB Headquarters because the structure houses the PNB Group's new headquarters. Impressive Design Malaysia's Merdeka 118 skyscraper is the second tallest structure in the world and the tallest structure in Southeast Asia. It has a multifaceted diamond-shaped facade and a distinctive spire design and is 678.9 meters tall. When Malaysia's first prime minister announced the country's independence in 1957 at Stadium Merdeka, a building that is part of the Merdeka 118 complex, he made the hand outstretched gesture that served as the model for this sculpture. As the designated civil and structural engineer, Arup is collaborating with Fender Katsalidis and RSP Architects in the area. Together with the contractor, SUJV, they made several changes to the architecture of this mixed-use tower. To improve the tower's overall constructability, they co-developed a special high-performance concrete with the record-breaking flow within a fluid. Additionally, it increased the client's usable premium space and saved thousands of tons of steel structures, lowering costs as well as the impact on the environment. With the Merdeka MRT station, two LRT stations, and the monorail, Merdeka 118 is conveniently connected to all of the city's rail networks. With meticulous excavation and comprehensive geotechnical monitoring, the engineers have taken massive care to protect the neighborhood's integrity. The location of this mega-tall building is important concerning the local history and culture. The tower, which looks above Stadium Merdeka, where Malaysia's independence was proclaimed, represents the fusion of the ancient and modern. It is becoming the new highlight of Malaysia's capital city's impressive skyline. Height Measuring from the base to the top of the peak, Merdeka PNB 118's architectural height is 678.9 meters. This height was only revealed in November 2021 when the skyscraper reached its highest point. The tower's site is 55 meters above sea level. The peak of the crown is estimated to be 570 meters above mean sea level. Without the spire, the tower would be 515 meters tall. The highest floor level is 485 meters above the surface of the earth. The Merdeka PNB 118 is now being compared with the world-class skyscrapers, Petronas Towers, and New York's Empire State Building. A quick reminder before we continue our discussion on the world's last mega-tall skyscraper, if you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. What's inside the building? The PNB 118 tower has 118 floors, with the podium floors occupied by retail stores or a shopping mall, and the 80 floors above serving as office space. 60 of these 80 floors serve as the headquarters of PNB, Permodalan Nacional Berhad, who is the building's developer. The top floors have 12 stories of hotel rooms and 5 stories of hotel condominiums. 
Park Hyatt is going to run the hotel on these floors. The 113th floor consists of a restaurant and the 114th through 117th floors have a multi-story observation deck, which is one of the world's highest. There's a VIP lounge on the top floor, 118th floor. A parking area in the basement may accommodate up to 5,000 vehicles. Hotel visitors will have a great dining experience and can stay in rooms and suites with panoramic views of the entire Kuala Lumpur skyline. The mega tall tower is also going to ensure housing units and office spaces available for rent. A glass domed 118 mall with shops and retail amenities would be attached to the tower at its base, according to a statement. Aside from the skyscraper, plans call for a Merdeka Boulevard at 118 Park, a textile center with a focus on Malay world textiles, a childcare center, and a new mosque with a capacity of approximately 3,000 people. This mosque is named Masjid Merdeka. At an event celebrating the record-breaking Megatall Tower, Prime Minister of Malaysia, Dato Sri Ismail Sabri, praised the skyscraper as a great achievement. Pintara's Geotechnics was contracted to pile up the building and structural work on the construction site when construction began in 2014. Piling of the tower was completed in the last quarter of 2016 and above-ground construction got underway soon after. Samsung CNT was selected as the general contractor for the tower's above-ground development. As of mid-2019, the tower's core had reached the 50th level, while the total number of floors had topped 40. When the construction was completed in 2021, the 118-story Merdeka PNB 118 tower proved to be the tallest building in Malaysia, as well as the world's last mega-tall skyscraper. The tower is now one of four tallest buildings in the world, along with the Burj Khalifa, Shanghai Tower, and Maka Royal Clock Tower. After years of development, Merdeka is the only megatall building of the recent decade that reached its final development stage. The massive amount of money and time needed for such megatall buildings are usually completed by including the governments and not the private contractors. The completion of this project brought even more investment to the city and strengthened the international connections and lifestyle expectations. Building skyscrapers in Asia is now very common, but megatall infrastructures like this one can make a difference. As experts are predicting, this decade is going to be very beneficial and a decade of developments for Asia. After China, Japan, and Korea, Malaysian megatall structures are going by word of mouth these days. This was all about the world's last megatall skyscraper. Do you think there will be any taller buildings in the future? Why do you think the world's tallest buildings are mostly located in Asia? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Before you go, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the Made Well Finder so that we keep making such interesting and informational videos for you. Thanks for watching.